boys and girls, welcome to a new exciting phenomenal creations video here. My name is VK as you all know and I really feel like I say this in every video but this video is really special. Since we're doing something a little more different, we're actually creating legit in two clicks and making your video even better than it was before. Yeah, so we're, I'm showing you a really cool secret sauce, uh, some spice to give some more coolness to your videos with just two clicks. And this video is proudly supported and sponsored by NitrosMe.com. I hope I pronounced that right. But um, I'm going to show some, a product of his called a Video Library, where uh, there's a thousand elements showing you how to spice up your video. But hey, they have a really, really good... Um, trailer on their website which I'm gonna show you right now and after that let's go ahead and review overview and let's see in a tutorial environment how to use this product and why this is so cool to have in your arsenal so let's roll that trailer shall we welcome to video library this is an ultimate package of over a thousand ready-made scenes and presets for any photo or video content stop spending your time on hours and hours and hours of routine work just open video library and enjoy. Add scenes in one click and your slideshow is ready. Fast switch between categories in extension and create beautiful slideshows instantly. Just change presets with quick navigation to open a new style of your video. Categories of presets will help you to create a slideshow for cases. If you need to promote your company or service, use business presets. Surprise your colleagues and clients by your cool presentation. Show to friends how cool you are with extreme presets. Vintage category will help you to save your memories. A lot of styles and elements for different uses will help you promote your blog, make a professional slideshow and capture the views of thousands of people. Just see how boring it looks without preset and how awesome with it. Video library is really easy to use because it includes a great panel toolkit with a friendly interface. And our online help center will help you with any questions. Also, you will get new presets free every month. Boom, bastic. That was pretty cool. I really dig what they did with the trailer, what they did with their footage. And here I have also created my own little sequence. We can look what we can do here, um, have some stock footage. And then I just put these uh, kind of elements and start creating something cool from there. And I can tell you, I timed my process on doing this 22 second long sequence. And it took me roughly 10 minutes. I'm not kidding. All these animations, all these things just in about 10 minutes. So uh, think about how much time you can save with um, have a two click method to create these kind of cool animations and stuff uh, overlays on your videos. So as said, um, the product, the video library has a thousand elements and uh, presets and animations and templates you can use and the best part of them they are really easy to customize you can change everything about the font the, the text sizes the coloring the tones um for example uh this example here where we have a lot of different kind of color balls and strikes and and glows on our text everything is customizable to fit your needs so if you don't like the coloring you just change them so they fit your scene so that's pretty cool. So I have here um, this uh, the exact same sequence here. I have brought it up with my stock footage like here. And here I just have the raw footage. So I'm going to show you uh, similarly the five um, different kind of um, effects and templates you can apply on these. And then um, show some tricks you can use to customize them to fit your needs even better. So let's just skip all the chit chat and let's see what this video library is all about. Alright, so beginning everything, how do we get access to all those files? Okay, so when you purchase um, uh, this, uh, the library, so uh, yeah, if I didn't mention 40 bucks, 40 bucks for this, um, this whole library, thousand elements, I'm gonna show you why it's really a good price for everything I'm talking about here. So we have all them here in a project file, but that's not really convenient. But they have something else, their own panel, which they have coded to apply all the effects to called Animation Studio. It's a really cool extension, which you bring up from the Windows, go to extension, find Animation Studio. 
and then you can find it like here and it's a panel you can move for example at the side of here like this and then you can see this really intuitive interface with the animation studio it's basically just a launcher for all their products they sell on nitrosme.com so they have this a uh, thousand of video library but then they have, they have also a transitions pack and they have like six packs at, at least so um this is one launcher uh, one intuitive launcher for everything they have on their website so that's really cool to have this intuitive uh panel here so how this works is way, way simpler than you might think. Okay, so you have your footage, you can select it if you want, you don't have to. But then we have, um, in these presets, we have all the categories of stuff. So let's say we have uh, so like the extreme here. So you can see all these elements uh, and presets templates right here. And when you hover your mouse on top of one, you can see this little monitor appearing here up top showing you what that template looks like. So if you if you just change your hover on, on, on a different one, you can see what it does, these animations, glitches, and the text animations. And you can see the background images of these, for example, this um, this hover truck or whatever that's called, this motor vehicle. That is basically your footage. So in my case, I have this surfer here. So I could have, I could take what whatever one of these, or I can go to the letters and modern. They have really cool these animations, and it's so cool that you can see everything from the panel itself. Okay, so let's go ahead and add something to this. I want to add something. So let's go to a sport because I feel this is a bit sporty. Do something. This looks pretty cool. The sport VL number two. So what I do, I have selected my surfer clip, click on this, um, my, uh, the, the preset I want to use, and then I just click on apply. It was that simple. Do you see how quick that was? It was that simple. So then what I can do is just drag this comp slash shape layer, this comp here to just fit my, my scene here. And another really cool thing is, um, if you don't have the fonts, that they have in the example you can use your own fonts so what you can do is you click on this text setup and what you can do here is you go to the text setup and when separated by commas you can decide what words it's using so here we have nitrous me production which is the default text but i'm going to show you some something like i can type in cool moves and and let's say surf surf up <laughs> phenomenal i don't know and then just click apply and it will apply those texts inside your comp here and but you can also go ahead and double click this uh, this comp here and you can see here's the phenomenal text going here and what we can do is for example change the font here so let's go ahead and type to get the character panel here and find, for example, I really like this font, um, lemon milk, let's take, um, regular italic, let's go ahead and size that down just a touch, get the surf up. All right. So here we can see now we have just added our first element and it was that easy, that simple, that fast. So the only factor that can uh, let's say decide how long this takes. It's your computer speed. They have a lot of effects different uh, presets have really really many effects on there So it might take longer to to load it up on the screen or something like this But that's one thing and then if you want to control this you can go ahead and drop into this um, The com the sport VL number 21 uh, Click on the control panel and jump into the effects controls here and here you can change everything like uh, the essential things you need for example, the text color, the second text color, uh, the elements color. If I want to change this to something like a, a greenish color, greenish, greenish, greenish color. Yeah. And change the text color to something like, or this back panel to like a bluish gray. And then it have changed these elements and so you can see the elements have this green tint since we put that in the control and you can customize this however you want as for example we have the blue background we can change the blue 
into, for example, an orange like this, go back to the comp, and now it's orange. So you can really uh, tune in what you can do with this. So that's really, really cool. All right, so for this next example, I want to show you how you can um, make your own text blend in to the scene you want really effectively. So I'm going to use this uh, stock footage for the football, and I'm going to follow the same pattern I used for my original example uh, right here. So what we're going to do, we can close this comp here, um, is I want to go for a vintage look here. I've already selected this um this one here is the number four here, and I just want to apply this. And when I click on apply, um, once again, it doesn't take so much to load, at least for my system here. And then it's a bit long, so let's just trim that down for appropriate size. And we can see what it does here. It's a little cool vintage look, and it got this brush elements to create this cool look here. But as we can see here, this text doesn't really resemble the text uh, displayed here at the, um, this uh, preview here. So I'm going to show, put my own text there and start doing stuff. All right. So let's go ahead into the text setup and let's go ahead and type something in. So for example, um, like this. And now I want to make this uh, text white. But what we can see here, if we want to control the text, we can uh, directly go to the possibilities text here, go to the text uh, selector here and take a, a color because that won't do anything because this is controlled from the control panel. All right. So, but in the possibility, in the text layer, we have some controls here. For example, we have this fill effect that you can select what kind of fill you want inside, but that also doesn't work because it's controlled from another layer. So what I what I like to do is to just close that off because then the fill then it shows the original coloring. But I want that would that to be white here, and take away the rough and edges. Just, that just takes away the uh, the stroke effect, which I don't want to. All right. So then after that, if we can put this to full. You see what we're doing here. So when you have it, have it on quarter, you can see it looks like it has this uh, black border. It doesn't have this stroke effect. Let's put that to half so we can see better what we do. Then let's go to the end. Let's do the same thing. Let's uh, just close those off to have what we have here. And then what we have here is we have that white text. It looks good. If we jump up to the comp, it's it's a bit you know. It's a bit strong this way. We want this uh, the text to blend in better with our scenes. What we do is take the endless impossibilities and drop that to an overlay blending mode. That would just blend it into the colors it has in the background. And this looks far more better. It's blended in. It's uh, now having the same really cool um, um, look. This uh, vintage look like the whole effect here instead of having a black text or a white text if you want to have some more blending with your scene so that's completely possible with these templates for my final example i want to show you another technique um, where you can uh, customize your template so it matches in the coloring when you're doing the scene for example i have here my stock footage of this drone and there's a lot of like purple and orange and green colors like this really warm and euphoric uh, look here so I want to use a preset from the, the colorful tab and I really like, there was one I really dig. There's a lot of these cool animations I would like, love to try on. But this one, this was the one I used in the original example, but there's a lot of colors, yellow, uh, pink, blues. But I really like the animations, even though these colors may not um, be really fitting to this scene. So let's go ahead and, and select this one. Let's go ahead and click apply. Let's select the item and apply. So now it's if it's a more intensive um, the effect, it, will, it may take some time to load. This will pop up if you don't have the right fonts. Click OK. I'm going to use my own fonts. It's OK. So that's something. So then you just wait up until this is done. So once this is loaded up, we can see that here are the cool colors we saw from the original example. The animation looks cool, 
but these colors they don't match at all to the scene we want or the font or in any case so I'm gonna show you now a little cool trick I, I like to use when I work with these kind of uh, setups here let's go ahead and trim this down just for a touch so we have the set the, the right length here so what I would like to do is go ahead and make a new viewer I will select my viewer it goes take a new viewer here so you can see two comps simultaneously so I'm gonna lock this comp here open this one up go to the colorful tab here so you can see here go to the control panel and we can see all the coloring here so I want to have more of the same colors I had in my original scene so let's go take I will take my pink colors take the pick whip tool and go something around this orange color here take the yellows and we don't need to even take the pick whip. We can just make a subtle orange cast. And let's take the blues and take this pinkish color here. To a comp here, we can see the changes we have done. That they match better with our scene. And this is real cool since you have that full control over everything you're doing. If you want to change some colors, you can do that. I just want to show you how you can blend the colors better in your scene. So this is a really cool thing to do. And of course, then you can change the text in the text setup and the font in however you want to change fonts. So you know the deal. All right, so I have now shown you the examples I wanted to share with you guys on how to uh, put these elements onto your scene, how you can customize them. And as you can see, there's so many, if you go to the all panels, you can see there's so many different panels you can use like elements on elements on elements. There are a thousand elements going on here, which is really, really cool. And even though they have all the, also these uh, these two categories, which I really like if you want to use them, is the stories, the summer stories and normal stories. Is basically, um, if you're doing, for example, um, some in, for IGTV or for Instagram, you're doing some stories, you can use these templates to spice up your video shot on your iPhone or your phone if you want this really uh, really cool templates there too so it's, it's a really cool implementation to have stories which these are two brand new um, story elements for this um, this pack so it's really cool that you can have that too but hey guys thanks guys so much for watching if you did enjoy this please give a like and a comment down below and also if you have any interest in this pack it's 40 dollars i say it's completely worth it i have it also as you can see here so definitely i will leave a link down below so go check it out go show him some love this is a really cool pack and also go check out some other stuff here too i will link everything you need down below so my name is VK. Hope you guys did enjoy this video as I did. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and join the VFX family here. And I'll see you guys next time. VK signing out for now.